again everybody and welcome back to Fuji's Blit and this is a Patreon request for the ARL44 the French tier 6 heavy tank which in my opinion is the best tier heavy in the game now a lot of people may disagree with that but I think this tank is fantastic it is my go-to tank if I have to go into a tier 6 tournament hey but let's be honest this is most people's go-to tier 6 heavy tank if they're in a tournament looking at the brief stats we got decent damage on the main gun 225 uh, rate of fire of eight rounds a minute that's not too bad penetration of 223 which is very good reasonable armor and good speed for a heavy now it comes with four guns but we'll deal with that later hit point wise it gets a thousand as you can see the turret armor and the hull armor at the front is pretty solid not so much side and rear view range well it's not too bad 271 meters near is damn it camo and concealment well it's camouflage profile is not the best i'm not going to be dealing with the fire because i'm going to go for each and every gun so we can look at that later when we then get to um, depression well it's got 15 degrees elevation 10 degrees gun depression which is good it's a good haul down tank even though you don't need to fully go haul down because of that frontal armor top speed 37 forwards 10 backwards with an average speed of 30 which isn't too bad for a big lumbering heavy comes with a multitude of guns this is the 19 mm dca 30 as you can see aim time goes down dispersion goes down dpm goes down and the penetration goes down damage stays the same looking at the next gun this is also a 90 mm this time the f3 as you can see here everything else goes down again um, even the penetration so not a great gun realistically Switching up now to the 105mm Canon 13TR, you can see the aim time goes down, dispersion, DPM goes down, but your penetration on the HE goes up and your average damage also jumps up quite significantly. But, point to note, your penetration does go down. Now this is the gun I use, this is the 90mm DCA45, this is basically what I consider to be the standard gun for this tank. Gives you quite a decent aim time, just over 4 seconds. It gives you a DPM of 1864 with a reload time of just over 7 seconds. Pretty decent penetration for the tier and pretty good damage. And that is the gun I would recommend that you use. However, a lot of people do prefer that 105 derpy gun. But you do lose penetration, guys. Looking at what equipment I load out on it, well, I run it with calibrated shells, I then run it with a defense system, improved optics, enhanced gun laying device, enhanced armor, improved control, and a vertical stabilizer. Why? Because I just think it just gives me that extra that I need when I'm rolling this thing out in a tournament. And to be honest with you, it's never let me down in a tier 6 tournament. You may not prefer that loadout, you may want to go for, I don't know, the gun rammer or the supercharge or the refined gun. That's completely up to you. Just that is my loadout and as I said, it doesn't, it hasn't to date, touch wood, done me any harm. Looking at the armor, as you see there, the front and the front of the turret are pretty strong, but the rest of it is pretty weak. However, you can angle this thing and it's not a bad side scraper. This is what it looks like when it's facing off against a tier 6 heavy. It's facing off against a KV-1 SEA. And what I'm doing now, I'm showing you, if you wiggle and jiggle that turret, you can actually get those cheeks to move and, and use your armor profile that way. What is it about this tank though? I mean, some people love it, some people don't. Like I said, uh, this is my go-to tier 6 tournament heavy tank. Why? Because it's got a great rate of fire, it's got good DPM, and it's got really good armor. Not only that, I mean, its aim time is pretty slick. Okay, it does fire the occasional odd shot, and okay, it does sometimes struggle to pen, but... I mean, it's got maneuverability. It can brawl, and it, boy, can this tank brawl. You learn how to wiggle and jiggle this thing, and you will just be giving the enemy a world of pain. I love this tank. Um, I mean, I, I, I absolutely adore this tank in tournaments. And as you can see there, you know, if you switch it up and you get it right, then boy, you can just have a great time in this thing. You can face off against other tanks, and it's it's just ideal. 
it's a beautiful little tank, but a lot of people struggle in it. A lot of people don't seem to enjoy the ARL-44 for what it is. And it is a heavy, it's a true heavy, guys. And, you know, you need to understand, learn how to angle this armor and learn how to frontline this thing. That was a bit of a wayward shot. They do happen in the ARL. You can see it does take a, quite a while for that reticle to come down. But it's dishing out really good damage. It's got great mobility. And it's it's a formidable opponent. Sometimes it does struggle against some of the bigger tier 7s, I agree. And, you know, a KV-2, of which there is one there, will and can hurt it a lot. But this thing, I truly believe, as is, is the best, in my opinion, tier 6 heavy tank. Now, that's going up against pretty formidable tier 6s. I mean, you're looking at the KV-1S, the Kurumori Mine, etc, etc. I think this thing is a good all-rounder. Okay, not everybody is going to agree with me on that, and I understand that, and I get it. You know, because there are some good tier 6 heavies out there. But you tell me if, you know, which tier 6 heavy tops this one for all-round ability. And all-round ability means mobility, rate of fire, damage output, penetration. And you'll be hard put to find a heavy that gives you that in this neat little bundle that is the ARL-44. I mean, you angle this right, as you can see there, you will bounce. I mean, okay, I've only bounced 310. But you can bounce on this thing. The other thing you can that's good about the ARL-44 you could literally you know if you're good enough and you understand the tank enough you could be averaging should be averaging about 2k damage in this thing or near his damn it that is what is good about this tank now most of the games i play in this tank i love it i mean i love it to bits and when i i, I very rarely roll it out in normal gameplay i, I roll it out in tournaments and in tournaments, I'm, I'm generally doing between 1,500 to 2,500 damage in this. And it's a great damage machine in that respect. That is its shining glory. You can do a lot of damage very quickly in this. Its penetration is very good. It's very rare that you're going to bounce anything in this tank. Okay, you will bounce. Of course you will. But if you stick in the APCR, the chances are you're never going to bounce. And if you roll out in tournaments, and you really want to win, and you really want to get to the, you know, to that end, that tour five, then just stick in the APCR, and the ARLs on the opposite team are not going to be a difficult uh, job to pen at all. I mean, look at that. I mean, the gun is pretty accurate when it wants to be here you know it's not always accurate but that was a tricky shot and now i'm just going to smack him up the backside and take him out and this is why i love this tank i mean it's it's everything in a small package you really can have a lot of fun in this thing however it comes at a cost guys you go rolling in as a yolo monster in this thing and you can get pasted. Those, that side armor, you angle it wrongly, that back armor is very weak indeed. And if you don't move that turret in between your loading, you are easy to pen, regardless of what's against you. So you've got to be careful with it. It's not invincible. No tank is invincible. And that is the thing about this tank. I love it. I mean, this, this is just... For me, a beautiful little tier 6. Heavy. You can push. Okay, I'm being smacked from the side there, but I've got the hit points to take it. A thousand hit points isn't too bad. You know, I know it's a VK, and I know he's trying to whittle me down, but I want to push these tanks here. I've already done over 1,200 damage, and this is what you can do in this tank. I mean, you can have... You can do pushes like this. You really can. Um, I don't recommend it all the time without support and I've got a little bit of support here which is why I, I did that push. We've taken what? 
we, we haven't killed anything, but we've been instrumental in whittling down everything. You see that? You can get a bounce. It's nice to bounce this thing. I've blocked quite a bit of damage in this game, to be honest with you. I've done just shy of uh, 1,600 damage. Well, just over 1,600 damage. In fact, I end this game on, I think it's 2,000 damage. Near as damn it. That is what is good about this tank. It's versatile. The other thing, it's a heavy. So, you know, use your hit points, guys. Don't just sit at the back hoping for the best. Get up there. Get it on the front line. Learn its armor profile. Learn to wiggle it. Learn to jiggle it. Forget. Remember, don't keep that turret stationary. Move the turret left and right. Jiggle it around a bit. And they're going to find it difficult to pen you. If you go haul down, slightly angled, you will bounce quite a few shots, even from the bigger tanks. It's easy to track in ARL 44. Um, as you can see, the, the tracks are pretty open all the way around, so you can track it pretty easily. But, oh, what can I say about this tank? It's just good fun. It's not a bad side scraper either, both forward and reverse side scraping. So, learn how to do that and you'll get the most out of it. I mean, I, I've been in games in tournaments where I've bounced everything coming my way. And you can do this on, in certain games. You're not always going to get away with it. I admit, I mean, I've, I've done what? Just shy of a thousand damage so far in this game. I've bounced over 160, which isn't a lot, but it's enough. Now I've done 1,100 damage, and this is what I love about the ARL. Before you'll know it, you're doing big damage numbers in this tank. As I say, it's my go-to tournament tank. I love it. I think it's fantastic. And if you go and watch any tier 6 tournament, you will see that most people will roll out in this beastie. Why? There's a reason why. Because, as I said, it is by far the best all-round tier 6 heavy tank in the game. And you know, prove me wrong. That's all I say. Prove me wrong. If you, if there is a better tier 6 heavy, and I don't mean the TOG 2, then I'd like to know what it is. Because I think this is it. All round ability, that is. I'm not talking about derp, I'm not talking about damage output, I'm talking all round ability. This is by far the best tier 6 heavy in the game. It's a beautiful tank. And... You know, you go, like I said, you go into any tier 6 tournament, virtually everybody's running these things. Every team runs ARL 44s. They, they're very, you know, you may get the occasional KV-1S or T-150 or Churchill or Kuru, Kuru Mori Mine. You may get those, but not in the numbers that you will see the ARL 44. That tells you a lot. That tells you how good this tank is. But that's in tournaments. I admit, sometimes against tier 7s, it does struggle. It can struggle against VK28s that are played by good players because they can tie this thing in knots. The turret rotation is not the best. I, I, I freely admit that. And you have to be careful of those little VK28s. And if that VK28 has APCR loaded, he really can give you a world of pain because you know it's they can pen you and they can almost circle you to death so you need to be mindful of that as i said it's not an invincible tank as you see here i've done 2149 bounced almost 500 damage took five kills didn't get a mastery in that game unfortunately this is the last game this is mark aptc or rolling out in the clan fdc1 in his arl 44 on dead rail Okay, the SU-152 there is a bit of a dead duck. It looks a bit AFK. Free damage, but I mean, it happens, doesn't it? He's already capped a base, by the way. Now he's just going to farm the damage on this. Oh, but there's a Panzer 4S. That's a great shot. I mean, the, he's bounced the Panzer 4S straight away. You can look at him wiggle it a little bit. He's going to get penned, however, but he can take the 4S out easily. So he's done just shy of a thousand damage. He's already taken one kill. There's a KV-1. You can smack him from here pretty simply. Hello, KV. Smack you again, I think, maybe. Wait for that load time. Boom. 235 inches straight into it. And as I said, he's running, you know, I told you what my preferred gun is. He's running the same gun. 
there's a reason for that guys it's the best gun to load on the ARL 44 doesn't have the derp as that tier 7 but it's got great penetration great damage and a good reload and as you can see here mark is not struggling to penetrate any of these tanks and there you go kill number three so he's now done 1700 odd damage he's bound 160 okay he's lost a third of his hit points already but the arl 44 can take it there's one enemy tank left he's on for a good roll here i would think if he can get that enemy tank out of the way that would be a nice little run on dead rail um, don't forget he's already capped a base so he gets good base XP from that he was instrumental in taking out the SU-152 so he gets damage assistance there it, and this is what you've got to aim for if you want these big masteries or first class awards guys you've got to aim for tracking tanks immobilizing tanks getting damage assistance and capping bases if you're in supremacy now i'm going to cap a second base that gives him even more base xp and you know he's now really um, I mean, there's an spic that's uh, sorry sp1c that's still left in the game he's ratcheting up his base xp nicely if he can find that sp1c and take him out oh there he is hello sp1c are you gonna pop around the corner to let me shoot you is mark gonna get there in time possibly not nope he is not so he's taken three kills capped two bases did 1713 damage and he gets a mastery okay i admit it's a low mastery but it's the base xp that counts guys it's not always about the amount of damage you do so if you do good base xp you're gonna get an ace and he did good base xp there you got over a thousand xp as you can see that's for capping bases in immobilizing tanks anyway that has been my take on the arl 44 the french tier 6 heavy tank this has been a patreon request i hope that has been useful i have been fujit by all means comment and all the other stuff below if you haven't pressed that subscribe button yet by all means do so if you also want to become a patreon by all means click that patreon sign in the in, in on, on my on the top there and you too can also be a patron and support the channel if you got any decent replay send them to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com alternatively join my discord server upload them there or you can even follow me on facebook twitter and instagram all those are the social media things i hope that's been useful until the next time i will say stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that's what it's all about guys having fun and being happy